So David Gregory had Ted Cruz, the new teabag senator from Texas. Now, the big news about him is that uh, he's technically considered a Hispanic, right? Because he's from Cuba, but then his parents moved from Cuba to Canada somehow, and then he's here somehow. But he doesn't look Hispanic to me. Whenever I look at him, all I think of is Joe McCarthy. <laughs> he, he looks just like Joe McCarthy. Uh -huh. So here he is. They show him, you know, the NRA ad that we've been, we played today. So the NRA ad where it talked about Obama's children, and that's a big no-no. You can't do that. So they asked him. They played the ad for him on Meet the Press with David Gregory. And then they ask him, did this go over the line? And here's Ted Cruz's response. Over the line? Uh, look, I'm going <laughs> to let people decide to run what ads they want. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not for him to express an opinion on the NRI, NRA. He'll leave that to decent people with genuine human feelings. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. Yes, yes, Ted. Look, I'm completely stumped for an answer. That's why I said look. <laughs> <laughs> and people have a right to make any kind of ad they want, especially the people who have a death grip on my balls. <laughs> Do you I don't really have any comment on the substance, but yeah, I agree. He is the whitest looking man I've ever seen, I think. Yes. Look, yeah. Yes. Now, he's supposed to be Hispan Hispanic, or as yeah. George Bush Sr. would say, Hispaniel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks very much like Joe McCarthy. And uh -huh. he's got that fake sincerity, that fake... Mm -hmm. It's going to come up later. We're going to play some clips of him. We'll, we'll get his fake sincerity. Yeah. You want to hear what he thinks is the real problem? It's not the NRA ad. It's not guns. Here's what Ted Cruz thinks is the real problem. What I don't think is constructive is what the president is doing right now, which is in, within minutes of that horrible tragedy in Newtown, the president began trying to explore that tragedy, to push a gun control agenda. Yes, leave it to Obama mm -hmm. to take this tragedy of massacring children and use it as an excuse to try to stop another tragedy of massacring children. <laughs> yeah. That's just bullshit. Politician being Politicians, a politician. Politicians, huh? Good for yeah. you, Ted. You stand up. He knows what the real outrage here is. Mm -hmm. The outrage isn't people using children in the ad. <laughs> <laughs> the outrage is when you try to stop massacres of children. That's just wrong. Yeah. It's not American. So there's the, uh, he brings up the uh, idea about the gun show loophole, right? So they have background checks. So if you're a licensed gun dealer, and you're selling a gun to somebody, you have to do a background check, that's the law. But they have gun shows where, uh, theoretically, regular citizens sell to other regular citizens. And when that happens, you don't need to have a background check. Mm -hmm. So gun shows are a work, that's a big loophole in the background check gun law because 40% yeah. of all guns, according to the ATF, are sold at gun shows. Yeah. So there's no background checkies happening there, right? Uh -huh. So they asked Ted Cruz, uh, David Gregory asked Ted Cruz, what about the gun show loophole? And here's what he has to say. Records, but there is still a, a, a loophole that a lot of people would like to correct. You know, there actually isn't the so-called gun show loophole. That doesn't exist. Boom. <laughs> you just ignore I'm convinced. It. You just pretend it's not there. It's like there's yeah. no war on women and uh, the moon is actually a hologram. <laughs> and if you close your eyes real tight and pray real hard, the president's a white guy again. <laughs> yeah, just ignore, just ignore that it's, there's no, mm. there's no gun show loophole. Yeah. yeah, there's no gun show loophole. That's I, a relief. So I, that, I, yeah, I know that we're, we, we just take for granted, you know, that that's something that exists right now. Gun shows, I mean. Mm -hmm. And I'm not from the South, I get that. But do you think that we should be selling guns as casually as we sell vegetables at the Santa Monica, you know, farmer's market. If I sell my car to you, we uh -huh. have to register it with the, mm -hmm. with the government. We have to do a, tra ta transfer, a title transfer. Though. None of that has to happen yeah. if you sell a gun uh -huh. in between. Uh, I don't know. That's just the way they have it worked out. And, uh, and besides, the government can't legally interfere with every citizen's constitutional right to sell a gun to a twisted psychopath. <laughs> Is that the kind of America you want to live in? Yeah. Where the government gets in between a transaction of a guy selling a gun to a psychopath without a gun? <laughs> I don't think so. Here, he goes on to, ex he goes on to explain what that uh, gun show loophole, why, why he doesn't think that there, it even exists. Any licensed firearm dealer who sells at a gun show has to have a background check. It, it's a requirement that applies to every licensed firearm dealer. What it doesn't apply to is personal sales one-on-one, -on -one. and that's true whether it's at a gun show or not. Yes, yeah, so did, did you follow what he said there? What he's saying is because personal sales of guns go on other places besides gun shows, 
that there's not a gun show loophole. It's a personal sales loophole, which is actually even bigger than the loophole in the logic of Ted Cruz's ideas. <laughs>